Hello, here's this 1985 Suncaster I picked up yesterday. He's got the shiny fish and everything. So let's take this chair and compare it to some of the other vintage chairs. Here, we're going to go here next. Yeah. We got two Capaza chairs and the rest are all girl flexes. There's the Suncaster I picked up. And look at this Suncaster chair. Look at the design. There's lines on the seat and back slats. Yeah. Kind of looks like the same shape as the Malaga, pretty much. Legs are a little wider. These will come to a point, these ones are more rounded. So we come down here and we go. There's your Girl Flex Sun. Yeah. And you got the same kind of line, just a little bigger. Almost the exact same kind of design. Back slots stick up more. Here's my little back arm chair from Girl Flex. We've got them slats. Which are identical to that right there. Yeah. Flies. But I tell you, you don't quit. I don't know why he's cutting grass. I don't like how to do it. You know? I don't like hearing me. Yeah, so here we have, what, well, Girl Flex Mine. We have a chair. These, these legs are indented there. You know, still some Girl Flex still there. Uh -huh. Oh, well, he has cut across the limb. I think Garrett's still here, I'm saying. You got your pistol fan back. Same kind of lines. And you can see how that shirt on there can't kind of the this Suncraft Rift Off Girl Flux. Anyway, yeah. So these are finished chairs. Yeah. Boy, I tell you what, we're on a finished tubular front leg chair overload out here. I'll tell you, they don't make any of these anymore. Yeah. So we're ranging from about 20 years old to about 35. I mean, that's a long. Huh. I tell you, you're not going to see many of these no more. I always like these composite chairs. Yeah, they got a nice curved shape to them. Yeah, that's nice. Yeah. Tell you what, he can cut that cross if all he wants. Yeah, he thinks it's going to rain in like two seconds. Yeah. So it looks like all these have holes for drainage. This one has these backs that has it so it drains through the slats right on the seat. But this one, yeah, there's no holes for drainage. You see how water was like sitting on there. Yeah, I'm gonna go similar to this Girl Flex on chair, except you know, the slot coming out like that. You know. Yeah. This is pretty much the same size as the Miami slots. Yeah. Just a little bit thinner plus. Yeah, there's a little lines in there. Yeah. yeah. You can see how all these shirts look so similar. Yeah. There's your Milaga. There's your lines on the log go all the way up. What they want. Yeah. If you got an eye for design, this is something you want to collect, I'll tell you what. I mean, I think some of the colors of these chairs don't work apart. I mean, you don't see your chairs look this good anymore. Look at that. Yeah, it's Girl Flex logo. Pacific Fanback does not have any Girl Flex logo except on the bottom on their side. Yeah. Girl Flex logo there. Yeah. You can see these lines are almost identical to the ones that went down there. Yeah. Man. This girl flex looks a little fancier than in done there, yeah. There's composite chairs. Yeah, that's not girl flex at all. I tell you, all these companies, like, try to copy each other. You know, when you, want to make, when you make a plastic chair, you want to make, like, a couple million of them before any of your competitors see what you have. So that way you can get them all to the store, and once they're off the truck, that's when everybody gets to see them. And basically your design's out there. So you want to sell all your chairs before anybody gets to take a look at them. Because once they take a look at them, they're going to copy it and try to make the same kind of money you did. So, interesting industry. Lots of technology, lots of engineering. A lot of history, too. Can you imagine the marketing and everything involved in these things? And these are fascinating. I tell you what, only product in the world would be like this. I mean, geez. Tell you what, you're not gonna go to any hardware store and buy something like this today. Yeah. They have nice chairs. Tell them things are beautiful. Tell you what, when I first saw plus chairs, yeah, I thought they were the most beautiful things they were saying. Yeah. Yeah. Tell you what. They really are something. I don't know how you could dislike them or say they're ugly. You look at some of these chairs, man, they're a work of art. How can you mold plastic into some into a shape like that? I mean, geez. Yeah, we're about to get rained on. So, 
I think we're done looking at these finished chairs here.